When does your life begin? How do you get to be you? What's the secret to transformation? In the beginning, one plus one equals one. In utero, you grow. You like the concept of individuality. You experience a life connected quite literally. personality immediately unfurled oh yeah immediately unfurled yes it's true and I'll explain it to you genes versus environment genes versus environment genes versus environment which influences you more, which impacts the life that lies in store. Who are you? How do you get to be you? What idea explains why your life does appear as it does? And why do you suppose? It seems the same way every day. In what way do you wish your life would change? Which part of being you would you like to rearrange? Or start anew? Never thought taking actions you've never taken. Watching your new results unfold. Finally, your new life story gets told. Be do have transformation is be do have. Open the door to within. The secret to transformation lies within its big do have one more time. That formula is be do have. Do you know that identical twins who are raised together, and of course they're born with the same DNA reverse, but the same DNA. Same genes turned on, same genes turned off. By the age of 70, you can't tell that they're identical twins because their DNA is that different. That's because your DNA is not set in stone. You turn on some genes, you turn off some other genes, and you can turn them on and off all across your life by the way you run your head the thoughts you think creating the reality you live it's your mind so by that same piece of information identical twins who are separated at birth share some interesting sometimes odd characteristics behaviors well, if they were separated at birth, how can that be? Because birth isn't the beginning of you. It's not the beginning of your personality. Anyone who's a parent knows, especially if you have more than one child, baby comes out with a personality. Baby's born with a personality that's immediately evident. In those nine months, you're getting the chemical sensations, the emotions, the noises in the environment, every experience that the mother is experiencing is passing on, creating the environment for 
her baby. I'm a specialized kinesiologist. And if you've been with me for a while, you know that 100% of everything that manifests in your world comes because it wasn't cleared in an energy world. You're getting from the very moment of conception, you're getting energy blocks from emotions. They're in your energy world, they're in your energy files. When they're cleared from there, they never have to manifest as physical things. Now, if you're getting confused, let me give you some examples. I had two women, one in her 30s, one in her 40s, with severe candida. No one could help them, but I specialize in candida. And that's because when I go back to get rid of the history causing the candida to ultimately explode into physical form, it's because I started asking the spirit all the way back from the moment of conception. One of those women, it was in the second trimester in utero. The other was in her third trimester. And what happened was the mother, each mother, two different mothers, didn't want the child. That sets up emotion, sets up an environment of a certain kind of chemical that goes in to the baby. And whatever the baby was hearing and feeling, it registered energetically, starting the file folders of being not wanted, of being not loved in utero. So that by the time they were born, whether or not they heard their mother say they didn't want them, hadn't wanted them, that information was already part of who they were. Now that's one thing. Another thing, in other cultures, well, particularly the one I know of as the Indian culture, my son had a friend, now they were born same birth year, but his friend was a year older, considered a year older, because in his culture, his family's culture, that nine months was considered the beginning of life makes sense, doesn't it? makes a lot of sense to me because those women weren't the only people who came to me who had life experiences impacting them as adults that traced all the way back to being in the womb. So what can you do to create transformation in your life? Well, Everything about how you live, what genes are turned on, what genes are turned off, it all has to do with how you're running your head. So to make a change, first, you have to choose to be someone you've never been before, who thinks thoughts you've never thought before. And that will allow you to take actions you've never taken before. Because only that way can you manifest results you've never manifested before. The secret to transformation is be, do, have. It's really that simple. Is it easy? Well, not with conscious, aware living. And conscious, aware living allows you to enjoy life because all you have is a present moment. I'm Ellie Beerman. If you want to learn more about everything I'm talking about here, go on over to yourrelationshipintelligence.com. When you subscribe to my newsletter, I've got a gift for you so that you can build your relationship intelligence so you can understand why the heck you think and act the way you do, making your world appear the way it does. Thanks so much for coming by, and I will see you here next time.